This is it. Isn't it perfect? Hello everyone, I'm Yuta Akiyama. This time, I'm going to show you how to change the clothes and hairstyle of an AI beautiful girl from your favorite image. It's quite difficult to use an AI tool like Stability Fusion to generate the image you imagine using a prompt, right? I'm not good at writing prompts, and I often make a slightly different image than I imagined and compromise. I found a tool to solve this problem, so I'd like to introduce it this time. Now let me show you how to do it. This time, I will not use the environment building method of WebUI. If you want to know how to build an environment, please check the link in the summary column. Now that Stable Diffusion has launched, we will download the model of the control net called IP Adapter from the link posted in the summary column. The model I want to use this time is this IP Adapter SD15. After saving this model, go to my drive and click on this SD folder. After that, click on Stable Diffusion Web UI. Next, select Extensions. Open the control net and upload the downloaded model to models. Other models such as Depth and Canny have already been downloaded. Now upload the downloaded model. Now that the model has been uploaded, restart Stable Diffusion. If you restart it, the downloaded model will be reflected. Now that the environment has been built, I will briefly explain the IP adapter I downloaded earlier before changing clothes and hairstyle. IP adapter is a type of control net that allows you to use images instead of prompts. For example, I would like to create a picture of a smiling high school girl playing the guitar while sitting in this text to image. Don't you think it's quite difficult to create this image with just a prompt? In the first place, the prompt is in English, and I don't know what to write. So it's the turn of the IP adapter. If you use the IP adapter, you can easily get the result you want by instructing the image generation with a picture of a smiling high school girl playing the guitar while sitting down. Let's print it out. It's printed out nicely, isn't it? It's a picture of a high school girl playing the guitar with a smile just like she wanted. Let's use this principle to change clothes and hairstyles that have never been done before. Let's start with the clothes. I'm going to change the clothes of this already created beautiful girl. The first thing I'm going to change this time is the student who kills the same hand. How do you write a student who kills the same hand with a prompt? Let's change it right away. First, open this image to image and upload this beautiful girl to InPaint. There is a pencil mark here, so click here. Fill in the part to be changed here. This time it's a costume, so fill in the face from the bottom. This is quite severe, so make sure to fill in the tips of your hands and the blanks like this. Now the filling is complete. Scroll down and set the batch count to 5. This batch count is a table of how many sheets you want to output, so I set it to 5 this time. You don't have to set anything else. Then move down and click on this control net. If you click here, you will see a list of characters like this. The first thing I want you to do is click on Enable. Click on Pixel Perfect. Click on Upload Independent Control Image. Upload the photo of the student who killed the same hand you downloaded earlier. It's like this, it's sexy. The last thing I want you to do is set the control type. Click on the IP adapter. If you click on the IP adapter, the processor and model will be automatically reflected. If it is not reflected, please select it manually. 
The setting is complete. Let's generate it right away. This looks pretty good. Isn't this perfect? The student who killed the same hand. By the way, this is the original image. This is like this. Isn't it perfect? It's really hard to get a prompt. How do you hit it? Even if it's a virgin student, it won't be displayed. Let's do it next. The next thing I want to do is... This is a picture of a boyfriend's shirt. This is not an ordinary shirt. It's a boyfriend's shirt. If you can express the length of the bamboo and the transparent feeling, it's pretty good. Let's generate it right away. Oh, that's good. The shirt is also able to express its characteristics. The transparent feeling I mentioned earlier and the length of the shirt are also expressed. This is really good. It's really hard to get a prompt. Next, let's change the clothes. You've seen this a lot lately, right? It's a fashion of the era. You can often see it when you're walking on the street. If you ask me if this girl looks good in the fashion of the era, I have a delicate part. Let's try it. I don't think the neck part is right this time. Let's change the mask a little bit. Oh, but isn't this picture pretty good? It looks good on your face. Everything looks good on you when you're cute. The next thing I want to do is the hairstyle. Please change this image. I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to do it with this girl. Just like this time, fill in the hair. I'm done filling in the hair. Please go down and click the control net. This time I'm going to use this Barbie-like picture. I'd be happy if I could express this glossy light blue. Click Degenerate. Yes, I was able to express a glossy light blue like this. There's something a little suspicious about this. If you change the mask, you'll get a pretty good shot. Why don't you try changing the original image or in paint according to your needs? How was today's video? This time I used live action to change my hairstyle and clothes. It also looks good with anime style illustrations. If you're interested, why don't you try using the IP adapter? This channel posts videos on a weekly basis featuring chat GPT and AI. Please subscribe to the channel and give us a high rating. If you have any projects you want us to test using AI, please write them in the comments. We look forward to hearing from you. That's all for this video. Look forward to the next video. Goodbye everyone. Have a nice day.